Word document Paul, and vote Paul, on it in an hour. It, that makes way too much sense. I mean, what are you the <laughs> way too much sense? Stop making sense. Yeah. All right. It's too easy. Bill in Thornton, Texas, you are on the Bet US caller line on Second 365 Radio. Okay, so on Big 12 expansion round two, saw, saw the post about that. And, and so my question is, do we have a chess game going on speeding up round two to really get the attention of these four Pac-12 teams and maybe trying to draw them into making a decision sooner than later? First of all, it could be a chess game, and I'm not so sure you're not, but I think it is in certain ways. Secondly, there's no speeding up. I, I, I've seen that a lot. There's no speeding up. The the Big Twelve added their four, and and I want you to follow up if you have a, if I didn't oh, answer sorry. this. I, I dropped him. Okay. Well, thank you for the phone call, no, and hopefully we well, hear from you again. Yeah, it, it, there no one is speeding anything up. The Big Twelve, I feel, has already made the decision they're going to expand again. Whether it's two or four, we don't know. But there is no speeding up. This is a let's kind of they they they've survived. And they seem like they always have a cat of nine lives. But this is no one is trying to race to the expansion. And nor can they until the Texas-Oklahoma money, whatever it will be in payment, is figured out. And that could take a while. But no one is speeding up. But I do think that there's no question there will be a chapter two. I, I don't think that speeding up is the right term. I don't think that's it because that you can't – they can't actually speed up. They have to – you know, do things in, in sequence. Because whoever I, you're trying to speed up with, they have their own I, exit timelines. I do think, though, they are trying to market it. They're trying to get it out in the... in. They're the, trying to get feedback like, okay, let's float this out and, and... Or let's... Because let me tell you something. It wasn't all positive when they first mentioned UCF. Brigham Young was positive, I think, but there was still some, like, backlash with that. Or Cincinnati, there was a, none of those were like, oh, my God, that makes sense. And guess what? When they actually announced it and it became official, I didn't see one negative comment or column or article about what the Big 12 did. But when it was first announced, it was like, mm, and there was a little bit, I'm going to bring, it brings me to this. I see a lot of, why Boise or Memphis? Ew. Well, isn't that kind of what the Big 12 had thrown at them when they decided they wanted Texas and Oklahoma only and none of the other conferences came running to beat down the door? Isn't it amazing how the, the mentality flips as soon as you feel secure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like so, you were worried about your future all of a sudden. Like, the Big 12 is good. Okay, yeah, screw these other teams. Yeah, Who wants ew, them? Yeah. And, but, but you were one of those that you others – I'm them. talking about whether it's Ames or Manhattan or if it's Waco or Lubbock or whoever else. It was like, ooh, that's kind of where you were and now – you have stabilized. There's no question. And it's like, pff, we don't want them. Well, who right cares? now, yeah. it's open season, and there is nothing wrong with looking at the options that are ahead of you. That doesn't mean that they will do that. Well, appreciate the, the call. Appreciate yeah, that. I mean, and the timeline is, is what it is. You're looking at the Pac-12 in 2023. Their contract's running out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're, what, two years away from that? Less than two years away from that now at this point? And you saw the – I mean – this, I mean, Matt, like, think about how quiet it was before the Oklahoma-Texas report. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was, like, constant chatter over the last few years on message boards and social media because there's always chatter about some conspiracy or something that's going to happen down the line. And so this was bubbling for a while, and that's why it wasn't entirely shocking when OU and Texas announced they were joining the SEC. It's just a matter of, like, how it was done and how it was unveiled. But, I mean, that has subsequently led to a complete, you know, um, change in, in the, the Big 12's future. It's led to a shift in what the American's going to look like moving forward. It's led to a shift in what the SEC is going to look like moving forward. It's led to the alliance being created between three other conferences, and that's all in the last six weeks, right? So mm -hmm. imagine what's going to happen in the next couple of years because we know the Big 12 is not done looking. And now, like we just laid out, look at all the options that are out there. Do you want to go service academy? Do you want to remain patient? And maybe in 2023, those Pac-12 schools are an option. Do you want to go ahead and move forward with the obvious choices that are kind of the, the first go-tos like a Memphis or a, a Boise State? So I think it's fascinating that they went from no hope 
to a new conference, and now a new conference that's already out looking for you know any variety of other combinations that could come into the fold. But a lot will ha- will depend on what happens in these other conferences with their contracts, and so that's that's stuff that's just got to play out over time. All right, break here, Paul. Come back with the final call or final call no, here. Let's uh, break and then we'll come back with more. All we right, can we got get more, more people. Calls. On, so. uh, a lot of you are hitting us up on the text line, which is the same line as the phone calls at two five four three three nine eleven twenty two. I'm going to try to respond to a few of you as in fact now. Uh, And also the chat room continues to roll along. And we're going to take all of this discussion all the way up until 5.30. And then we'll be joined by John Machoda on the Cowboys hitting week three of the NFL season. And this is Sikkim 365.